I got nothing to say, yeah, I'm just loving the way you're looking over here, come over here and tell me your name. I could tell by the sound, yeah, when you open your mouth, I hear my new favorite melody, hey, we should both run away. What the fuck is up, motherfuckers? Hey, motherfuckers. H, H new motherfuckers. 30. H new 30. In the house. H new in the house. Nilo's 30. I'm 29. H new is 30. H new 30. It's me, Kendall Roy. Uh, so, 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 what the fuck? The podcast is just back now? What the fuck? So, what, what the fuck? We, we went all fucking. That's it? What, just Humpty Dumpty? Come on, man. Sat on a wall? Oh, come on, man. Had a, had a big fall, now we're back? Fuck off. What, just some old wise fucking tale? I don't understand. <laughs> Is that Logan? I, I was Logan. trying to do... <laughs> my, <laughs> only, my, only, uh, my only uh, Logan is just, fuck off! Well, well, I say, you know... Yeah, hit him with the... Hit him with the wise tale. The basic wise tale. I'm pushing <laughs> to 120. Uh, approach him from the, ba- the back. Flank him. Bear hug. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bull hug. You know, they retreat, we we come the fuck in, kill, kill, kill. And uh, next thing you know, we're getting blowjobs and uh, doing coke off of a fucking hot chick. Easy as can be. Oh, man. Is that Greg? That's Greg. <laughs> uh, I want to, I want to. Uh, fucking, fucking. Frilly. I don't know, fucking, just fucking. Clit flickers. Just fucking, just whatever. Tie. Fucking uh, poop, poopy poop. <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be, uh, I wonder if the next, in the next season, like. Kendall's just getting like super into crypto or something. Yeah. He just like goes all in on Ethereum. He, he has mentioned crypto in like one Did of the episodes. He? When he was like first, I think it was season one when he first um, got like fired or not fired, but uh, he tried to do the the vote of no confidence mm-hmm. and it failed. Uh, he was like, what up, motherfuckers? Pivoting at, to be like an investor, just like an angel investor. Oh. And he was trying to be like, seduce that like younger company that was like doing cool shit they were like an art company that was they didn't say it on the show but they were basically like turning art into nfts whoa Uh, they kind of predicted that then yeah because i think that was before like the big nft yeah like and he was like he was like saying something and he was like you know might rebalance a little bit get a little a little bit less out of crypto a little more out of into like he was like talking about his portfolio and he was talking about crypto i was like oh shit yeah when he put his shoes on the table you're just like god dude, yes, you're just so overly confident you're ruining this for yourself he he always tries to be like the millennial fucking just be yourself Kendall. yeah just admit that you're a fucking asshole yeah anyway do you guys watch succession fuck off h new 30 baby you should what are you, waiting for? you should it's follow the, us you should a it's a great show do you think it's gonna go down as one of the greatest shows ever I would say so. I, f- I think uh, this will probably be the last season. Yeah. And season four. Season four. Mm. I guess a lot of the like greatest shows kind of, well, that's not true. Breaking Bad season- has five seasons. I was thinking in terms of seasons, you know, like The Sopranos, yeah. I think, has about seven yeah. or something like that. But I think a show can still be g- considered <sighs> great and have four seasons. How long is like an episode of The Sopranos? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's around like 50 minutes, hour. Oh, okay. yeah, so yeah, yeah. similar length. Yeah, we'll see. I would love for them to go longer, but you're right. It does seem like four would good a good place to end with how things are going. Yeah. Um yeah, I think so. I uh I watch way too many breakdown videos on YouTube. I I, I like yeah. that's and the they're, only they're all saying that fourth is like Yeah, it seems like that's that's where everybody that's where the the common trend is like that. Like, mm. where else would the story go after? Four? Like, I, f- I feel like five might drag it out too long. It's like yeah. the five is when Greg takes over. Five is too long. Yeah. What are we fucking... So, what next? Fucking J.R.R. Tolkien. It's quite cool. Breaking Bad. What are we fucking... George R.R. R. Martin. 
ninth book on the I can't even do it around. Yours is so much better. I feel like even practicing. What the what the fuck? Fucking what the what the what? Um, Romans is Romans is just like muckering up the old dunce. I don't know. Just freaking, uh, yeah, he's freaking. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So he's always doing that shit. He's always like halfway, like about to walk out, and then just you know, just fucking do the thing with them, and then yeah, fucking fuck go. Off. Exactly. Yeah, the closed eyes and yeah. the looking away, no eye contact. <laughs> yeah, I can't fucking. Mm, I just well, mm, kind of folding yourself up into like a little box. Yeah, he's just your very, body like, is just getting really shooting. tight. Yeah. Uh, and uh, thank you. The fuck off. Uh, I can't do a shiv really. She's just always like. Uh, uh. So what next? Stick his cock into my potato salad. Anyway, great I don't impression. love you. Yeah, that was fucked. Hey, yeah, spoiler. Fucked Just kidding. I mean, at this point, you know. That's on you. That's on you. Yeah, so H New, we're back. Fuck off. Lots to, lots to go over, but not really. You know, we'll go over it in time. Oh, come on. But it's good to be back here with you. Mm-hmm. We're in the living room. Uh, for those who watch on video, uh, because I left a lot of my stuff over at Jenny's house, and we have some stuff in the living room, so I thought, let's just, let's just put up the camera here and do the old ep back here make it easy make it easy and i wonder i wonder if some people like it here <gasps> I, I like it in here so what next yeah i feel like we did the original ones in here Poo -poo pops out of my nose i like the vibe of recording in here yeah the look is it's way it looks bit way better in your room for sure yeah and i mean recording in your room is nice but yeah yeah but it's very comfortable here obviously yeah <laughs> this is where this is where you know we just chill spend a majority of our time yeah and like over there on the little chase lounge if i was over there i'd be in full comfort mode that's your custom couch you know how they have custom orthotics and like yeah. custom teeth where you kind of blend in mm -hmm. a little bit that's like your custom it's got couch a, it's got a me shaped that's, divot in that's it. you yeah it's one of those couches you just wear wear it down i was laughing at uh i i i was looking at like certain um it basically, in order to get like custom products and things like that, you you know how you do like a clay yeah sort of thing. So like with teeth, it's like you put them in your teeth and it's clay and it molds oh, to it. Yeah, and then yeah, with yeah, feet, yeah. they just send you a box of oh like of like raw clay and you step on it and it shapes your foot. I was wondering, you step on it like, but do you have to like you, dive all the way in? You you probably there's probably Ankle like a deep. point where you stop, mm -hmm. but um. And you don't like squeeze down. I'm sure it's like a light thing, but it's just funny because it's just a box of clay. So I was just imagining like yeah. a bed, like they just send you a giant clay box and yeah. you just like, but lay all... back into it. So it's like a custom <laughs> bag to it's your like, back. Yeah. The shipping for the fucking clay box is more expensive than the bed. <laughs> yeah. 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 They can Come never old. promise free shipping. Is that what you, I wonder, is that even what you would need? Like want for, to sleep for in? a bed? Yeah. For a bed, just like a little, a little concave that's just perfectly you sized you know you know it sounds like it sounds like a waterbed it does that's that that'd be a waterbed like water which whatever happened to those you know dude i, I hadn't thought about them until i saw licorice pizza i know me too and i was yeah. like oh fuck those like people for legit for a second thought that was the move are they actually comfortable like what is i want to know what they're they are for people's back like yeah if that was like a good move it seems like if they were good for your back they'd be a, be around now Plus, they're like made out of the same thing that air mattresses are made out of, right? But there's just water inside. But water of it. inside. I think, and Maybe, then so yeah. So that, yeah, what are you putting on top of there to make it comfortable? Are you doing like a sh just regular sheets? I guess if you think about, yeah, I mean regular sheets because yeah. I I I, re I remember going to a friend's house and his brother had one oh and his sheets God. were like super like slick. And I remember it was like, it was very much an attitude of like, be careful around the bed. And, and I was what like, the hell? why would you want this? It, yeah. Like if you have to tell people to be careful around it. I don't want to be careful around the bed. And, and that's why I'm least careful. That's if I'm I, reckless in the yeah, bed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's where I do the most life-changing <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, but you think about, uh, I, I would think about going on a trip or something. And I feel like the entire time I'd be like, if that fucking bed pops it's over. Oh, so true. You're, like your whole house would be Yeah, ruined, you got a basically. security cam footage just to make check in on the bed, see if it's popped. I, I would probably put one there and I'd call it like, you need to go to my house now and you tape gotta, up the bed. We got a leak. Yeah, we got, we, we got a leak. We got a, we got a, a stage five yeah, leak. Yeah, that much water near anything. Because that's a lot of water. That's, that's like a, 20 gallon. That's a probably fuck like 50 gallons of water. Oh, dude. How many houses do you think had like the tall shag rug? With mm. the waterbed that popped oh, just... and just soaked the shag, and then 
they just like didn't properly clean it and then like it got like moldy or stinky or just like dank like a fucking like the th- like the floor mats of a sh- in a sh- bathroom for the shower oh dude yeah but Part your whole house so bad <laughs> soaked shag sounds like a really bad weed soaked shag like worse yeah. than like mids yeah it's so like, bad it's the worst <laughs> it's like soaked shag soaked shag like it does sound like a really bad weed yeah like the lowest of the low or like a really weird like radio program Soak Shack. Soak Shack. Entering into Soak Shack. We play the slowest Billy Ocean records you've ever heard. And you're gonna shag it. You will be soaked. Oh. Soak Shack. Soak Shack. If your shag isn't soaked, you're not gonna right. This one's for Shelly. <laughs> for his first names. Shelly. Dude's hooking shag. up with like a hundred people. <laughs> this one's for oh, Samantha. <laughs> yeah. This one's for it's not callers. It's his, his, his girls. AJ. It's like oh, throw oh, throw a guy in there. Oh, he's up with it. <laughs> this one's for Mark. Mark. This one's for Dead Bundy. <laughs> yes, we had a thing. This one's for Gordon. It's more guys than girls. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Every and every so often. This one's for Alice. This one's for Alice. Using the soft shag radio. Yes. Um. Yeah, I haven't thought about water beds in a while. Um. But it would be a difficult endeavor to, to own one of those. Yeah, not not worth it, probably, in the long run. Uh, but mattresses are very expensive, so I don't know. Maybe it would be better if if you could just buy a, a blow-up mattress That's and then just fill it with water and be good to go. <laughs> it's like the best for you. That's so true. Economically, it makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Um, beds are so, so fucking cumbersome to deal with. Dude, Ugh. and... Uh, it really, I, I, I hate that I used to be able to sleep everywhere. I used to be able to like fall asleep on like a hardwood floor. Yeah. And I could just stay there all night. Crazy. And, and now I, I feel like I'm just, I, I, no I don't like it when people say I'm old when they're only in their 20s or 30s or something. Yeah. But like, I'm like, damn, dude. Like when, when did I, when did I stop <laughs> being able to, to sleep on really, really hard surfaces like this? Do you think you could, like if you were, if you were traveling? And you had to sleep. Say this was somebody else's house right here. Mm-hmm. Like we're in fucking Oslo or something. And they're like, we don't have much. And like there, there, there weren't these couches, but there was like the, this carpet and you had like a pillow, maybe like a sheet for under you and I, one for over you. You think you could get a little bit of a night's rest? I think I can make it work if the room wasn't like super, super cold. You'd have to do that thing where you wait until you've like never been more tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like we're out all day. We've yeah. done like 25,000 steps. Yeah. And maybe we've had like three drinks minimum. Yeah, because then you just pass out and you're like, I, my body needs it. Yeah. Pretty much. And I need to get used to that because I need to be down with... I, I, I hate when I'm like yeah. scared of camping or doing it like... Laying on just like the hard surface is like just so exhaust. Like it is so fucking. Getting weird. a bad night's sleep really sucks. Yeah. Well, so you're doing like a huge like LA trip, right? Yeah, yeah. And so you're gonna be camping multiple nights in campsites too. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have on the weekends an Air- Airbnb. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be like a couple of weekends where we're we're camping in a tent for like three nights in a row. Wow. Or two two nights in a row. So what, not so not bad at all. What are you planning on sleeping on? I got a I got a little little blow up mattress thing. Mm-hmm. I got a, a sleeping pad like that's a sleeping pad, and then I've got like a sleeping bag. Ah, and nice. That's my that's my. So my you're not thing. gonna like necessarily be on the ground, like no. Too I'll, hard, I'll be too much. I'll be above it slightly. That's so good. I'll be fine. I always think about that. Do they have like they've got to have a tool that just like makes it level? You know, something under where mm-hmm. you can like adjust the legs slightly, like and just like lift one corner up. So no matter like where you are you can create a level sleeping surface is this on is this on like a mattress underneath a ma- yeah for like a mattress oh yeah yeah you know so like if the terrain is wobbly oh. you can say like if oh if i raise this right corner two notches and lower this left corner one notch we're perfectly flat well surely if you had a cot situation you could do that like yeah. a cot would have like the springs or something out yeah yeah but i guess if you're on a cot you're probably not thinking about it. I feel yeah. like, imagine like being in like <laughs> Vietnam. Yeah, and the like, suspension on those you're, things. You're in the Viet- Vietnam War or whatever, and yeah. you're like, you're like, I, I'm trying to get my bed level. Oh my I'm trying God. to get this bed level, and there's like a war oh, going on. You're like, I can't get this bed level. I can't get this bed level straight. My sleep. My the back. one thing in my life I have control <laughs> over. <laughs> my back is fucked. My back is totally fucked. Or like, imagine like, yeah, 
fucking getting no, getting Vietnam. fucked up on on the on the battlefield yeah. and then being like wheeled away on one of those cots on wheels <laughs> and like the terrain is just so rocky yeah. and, like every bump hurts as fuck oh, like, ah, ah, my back was better <laughs> if i was had a more comfortable sleep this <laughs> wouldn't have been so bad oh my god you're like you know you're missing half a fucking leg and uh, you hit a bump and you just fucking stamp it right oh, into the oh <laughs> no that would hurt so bad dude oh my god sorry legless legless folk the viet the vietnam war yeah what a time, dude. I don't know why I jumped to that war. <laughs> of all the wars. Well, we was, could be talking about the, the Russian war the, versus Ukraine. The Polyponnesian War. The Polyponnesian War. Mm -hmm. The Persian War. The Persian Michelangelo. War. Mm -hmm. A lot of great wars. A lot of great, <laughs> lot of great wars. Well, yeah. It's just like a, now we're in Connor Roy territory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, we're back. We're just freewheeling, freestyling. But, you know, I think this is the kind of style a lot of people like, honestly. Yeah, it's kind of nice to have a. Uh, yeah, because because uh, your brain thinks about things that aren't just. It's not just like. You're so not like, what do you do? Yeah. What do you blah? Yeah, you're you not going? tied to like a the agenda so much. Did you know that they say every seven minutes there's a lull in conversation? Mm hmm. Isn't that wild? Yeah, that is pretty wild. Um, and we'll have to check on that. We'll <laughs> and the, the next the next time around. Yeah, we'll check on the. 21 minute marker i don't know plus a couple of minutes we started so we'll check like 23 minutes if there's a lull the feeling of uh of that happening at a party is always really funny when you're like you know it's coming oh it's like two questions away and you're like fuck how yeah. do i get out of this do like, you still like feel the need to like be the guy who breaks the silence because well, i feel like i did for a while and now like when that part happens i'm like fuck it it's over do you just walk away <laughs> i just walk away <laughs> <laughs> you just you just stop like, talking and walk away i i usually so i was like yeah so yeah <laughs> put the hair behind the ear <laughs> that's the sign yeah that's the sign like start that should be that should be our like code like... if you're if you're running out of shit to talk about and i can run over and, <laughs> yeah. and, and get you out of there be like oh, yeah, i need you to see blah 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 so elegantly um yeah, that's that's always something that uh, the I get more anxiety from the thought of the conversation ending than I do from the actual conversation like lull like stop yeah. you know what I mean like the that's thought of it like coming up with certain people I'm like oh god here we come yeah. we're two questions away it's going it's done yeah you like because you're running out of questions yeah and you're also this thing of like do 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 we want to be in this conversation yeah can we get to a point where we're both really enjoying it and then like you know if you get to that point you're like well now i'm having a great time but are they yeah yeah <laughs> or yeah am i just like forcing this along that's the funny you know? that's like the weirdest feeling ever when it's like we both hate this and for yeah. some reason we're still doing it yeah yeah exactly. like why, why why don't we just say like we're seeing how far this it's will nice go. to talk to you but yeah <laughs> but it, it hasn't been so nice so i'm leaving uh, imagine being that honest hey it's not it's good to see you and i was um I was kind of excited at the start of this conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe, and then I remember why, you know, why space breeds love. When I saw you from across the room, I was, I was like <laughs> certain it was going to be a B plus convo. Yeah. But now you're C at best. You're C. This I, is. I gotta go. This has been five best. minutes too long. This is. Um, you're you're. We're a couple lulls away from this being soul shag. I need or to, soap shag. Yeah, soap shag. <laughs> I need to go to a sign, shining she. Yeah. Shining sea. Sea to a shining sea. Sea to shining sea. <laughs> I need to leap from this sea to this, the shining sea. I need to flow. I need to flow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this lull that we're, that in this podcast, we're not going to get to the lull. It's getting close to that time and I feel it coming. No, dude. I but, don't feel it. It's not coming. Yeah, it's not coming. We, we. I was gonna ask you about your experience today. Oh, if you think it, if you think it's it's okay to share. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you signed an NDA. Um, I won't mention any names. Um, though I wish I could mm -hmm. of the medical professionals, but Jenny and I, Jenny has a cat. Um, you know, she she got a cat a couple of years ago. Her name is Stella, but she goes by Stinky. Mm. and she um, prefers stinky right yeah uh, yeah well we prefer stinky mm, i like you stinky know? You, you, you call somebody something so often that's just what they become you know mm -hmm. it's like we all we all have those in our friends group um 
And luckily, we don't call anybody in our friends group stinky. Yeah, that would be no good. That would. Unless it was like when people call a tiny guy Biggie or something, you know. It's a guy that just smells so fucking smells good. So, <laughs> so hot, dude. What up, stinky? Armani. He's like, and, he, and it doesn't affect him at all because he knows beyond a shadow of a doubt. He's smelling good as hell. Oh, yeah. You'd never call somebody who actually stinks stinky because that would just be <laughs> cruel. Imagine, I can't, I can't imagine a guy who's like so for sure that he smells good, you know? I feel like even if you're cologned up and perfumed up, you run the risk of smelling bad. Yeah. Because then it just adds a layer of moisture to you where you're like, you're, you could, you're a couple drops away from uh-huh. being a little too, too musky here. You know? there's, there's definitely a threshold that's like yeah. very low for, for cologne. Yeah. It's like at the cologne, like the, at, the, at the bottom of the cologne smell is just a wet smell. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, it's probably like one spray. It's probably like, mm-hmm. it's impossible to get the amount that, the, the little amount that you need. It's like a fourth of that spray, but you can't just get a fourth of a spray out of a spray True. bottle, you know? Yeah. It, it's, it, they project too much. Oh, yeah. But they last fucking forever. Yeah. I, you smell the next day when you do it before you go out that night and you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, oh my God. I hate this cologne smell. Yeah. Well, I, do you still like like the way like a F- Axe body sp- spray smells? Like, do you have like a nostalgia about it? Um, I, I only did that for like two or three years mm-hmm. where I went like <laughs> hard on it. Yeah. In like middle school, yeah. and then it became very clear that like it's just the dudes that liked it, and, mm-hmm. <laughs> and just the dudes smelling uh, other yeah, dudes. Yeah, being like, oh, you got the the, the fire emblem mist. Yeah, you got something. the phoenix. The phoenix. I do. Yeah. I do use phoenix as a rub on though, because I'm phoenix yeah. is the best smelling one. It, it is. Phoenix transcends the axe stigma. It's a it good does, smell. Although I think I'm getting smellier as I get. I used to be able to just do deodorant. One. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I used to be able to use one wipe, one two two. Of the deodorant. Oh wow! In the in the like morning, and then like I'd be good. Now I got to do it like three times a day. I'm, I'm like, doing it. I'm I'm on like I do like six. I'm oh like, really? One two three four five. Getting six. that aluminum pit, baby. I know. I got to stop. Do you I think stop. that's really a bad? Do you think that's really gonna be the thing that gets us though? Is the aluminum mm, from our deodorant? I don't know. It's a slow bleed, you know. It's like, it's like if you put a raw egg in a a pot of water. And you turn it up by one degree every day. Mm. Eventually, that thing gonna boil, and it gonna boil hard. Is that is that a valid uh, analogy, or do you think it's more like a tenth of a degree? Do you think it's like even slower? Yeah, it's slower. It's like zero zero one degree. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but the compounding interest, you know. Yeah, but then you gotta think about other people, especially if you're increasing wipes as you get older. <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's like yeah. investing in a Roth IRA. Yeah, you're stacking. Yeah, you're stacking yeah, percentages at that point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I don't know. God, there's so many like, there's so many ailments and illnesses that the with where the cause is truly untraceable. I feel like. Yeah. Well, well, something interesting is the the uh, just analyzing our parents' generation. Mm-hmm with like all the food they grew up eating and like the soda and like all that shit and just using that as like a, okay, this whole, this whole like group of people did this. And like, I think I more so like our grandparents, like you think about their, their like food intake. And I think about like my granddad probably ate like, you know, the worst Southern food, like so, so unhealthy. Just little Debbie and like, southern uh, fried yeah. stuff and like soda and like all that for yeah. years and he lived until he was like 80 something so like are we gonna live like forever because we we a lot like is the majority of people gonna live like a lot longer because a lot of people have started being like healthy eaters and more yeah. organic and all that stuff that's a good question interested to I see feel like, i feel like i heard somewhere that lifespan is starting to stunt again oh shit well is that because of covid <laughs> Is that like no, bringing it all down? Years or ago, but oh. something like I don't know, like I don't know, like we're we're peaking or something. I don't know. We're peaking. How much healthier could we find? Could we make it? You know? Oh well, it's probably like the thing with happiness and money, where it's like mm-hmm. there's a certain there's a certain amount of healthiness you can do that yeah. affects you, and then after that, it's like you're. It, it's just yeah, it doesn't matter. I think there's. I feel like back then too, there might have been 
well, actually, this is completely unfounded, but I should, just like, I wonder how much stress your grand, your grandpa was going through, you know? Yeah, well, he was in a war. He was? All right, more stress it than us. It was a great war. Sure. The, Kore- the Korean War, we didn't mention that one. But I think he was on the boat the whole time. But we've but... got that creeping, that yeah. slow creeping stress, you know? Yeah, we've had that for... Yeah. We've been, I mean, even though we're all, all our generation is younger, we've been through a lot of shit. Yeah. Like, it's been pretty wild. So who knows? Because you hear about, like, you know, that old woman who, like, is the oldest woman in the world or whatever. And they, like, looked into her lifestyle. And she doesn't do particularly anything special, mm-hmm. but she just, she she's never really worked. She just, like, oh. kind of chills. She just kind of is, like, just living a stress-free life. Reads and chills. Yeah, she just chills and hangs out and, like, I don't know. Is that the one who was like, I smoke cigarettes too? Like, that's more of my Maybe secrets. that might be her. Yeah. Um, so you're saying everyone needs to be on Lexpro? Yeah, for sure. I mean, everyone that, needs to calm down and just take Lexpro. It doesn't hurt. I mean, yeah. When you're in that, like, relax, when you're super relaxed like that, it's only good for you. Mine you is, know? mine, it only hurts your boner. That's the only thing it hurts. That is true. Yeah. Which your boner can hurt you. So sometimes you got to sheath that thing. Yeah. <laughs> so uh well you got it then you get blue chew blue shoe blue, blue shoe. shoe yeah blue chew did i say blue shoe you can't you said blue shoe what twice. Did you get blue shoe <laughs> blue run shoe. that back blue shoe blue shoe <laughs> whirlwind uh yeah you get blue chew mm-hmm. to counteract the prozac the zoloft and and then the blue chew makes you go bald and then you get the thing that no yeah, yeah exactly. i think they figured out there's isn't there something in a viagra or blue chew that really promotes hair growth maybe oh i don't know i can't remember if there's something in an ed medicine that um that promotes hair growth i remember somebody talking about it i've never taken blue chew i honestly yeah. haven't it'd be interesting to try though i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna get it yeah because it's it's not that hard I mean, it's not that hard to get it. I just don't want to... No, my g- dick is not that hard. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it's not that hard to get it. That, that, was, like, that was a good... That'd be a funny <laughs> little like, bit on stage. I feel like, <laughs> it's not that hard. It's actually pretty... I don't know. can't say. It's actually pretty easy. It's my dick. My dick's pretty easy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it doesn't work as well. <laughs> yeah, it's not as good. Uh, that's good. Um, but yeah, so, you know, she got this cat a couple years ago. Stinky. Stinky. And... Um, and she wasn't socialized well. Like at the beginning, she was kind of she kind of lived in silo a little bit, and like she somehow like migrated all the way from somewhere in South America to and and ended up at a cat cafe um, with like her siblings. Oh, um, and that's just Jenny's backstory. So as for the cat, <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. yeah, man, um, two for two. <laughs> No, and then uh, so so this cat ends up at the cat cafe. She like cuddles up to Jenny, um, gets adopted, but like not a lot of people came over, and there's no other animals mm. and stuff. Um, and you know she suspects that she was like weaned or on un- unweaned or whatever early because like she'll like suckle on her hand. What does wean? Is I mean off the teat? Off the teat. Uh, so she'll like suckle on her hand like it's a teat kind of. Oh, that's yeah. kind of cute though. It is very cute, you know. And I've had I've had the honor of her being comfortable enough to do it to my hand wow. every now and then. But um, not around this time. About about like six months after we started dating, a little less. It was like November two thousand uh, twenty, somewhere around there. I. Go over to Jenny's house. Uh, she's like on a work meeting and she's on the couch. And so I go upstairs because I'm sleepy. I have narcolepsy. So I went upstairs to take a nap. And I was wearing this hoodie and I go crawl in bed. And, you know, there's a bed and there's, there's a nightstand on either side of the bed. Actually, at this point, there's only a nightstand on one side of the bed, um, I think. But anyway, I go to grab something off the nightstand and i move my hand like that and right before that she uh stinky was sort of like hovering around me a little bit uh, like just like walking around but uh-huh. i didn't think anything of it because i'm like you know i've had kitty and and been around cats they fucking they move around i barely i don't really pay attention yeah. unless they're like you know up in my grill and but as soon as i do that 
she's like she's like and then she just 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 like attacks me and then and then i'm just like what the fuck like super aggressive Ugh. and i so i go downstairs and stinky's like chasing me down the oh, stairs no um and jenny's like what the fuck happened I'm like i have no idea and there's like a window right behind the bed so like now we think she might have saw something outside like a, another cat or something oh. um but so that was sort of her first incident and then she got pretty aggressive uh from there randomly like the second time i was over there she then i was just chilling and then she attacked jenny for making like a similar movement like huh. also like in the living room she sort of just like went like this and there was like a box a cardboard box that she was in uh from outside and jenny yeah <laughs> yeah you know right? <laughs> i was thinking that same thing um and that could have been it too because she doesn't like smells from outside. Ah, uh, yeah. But anyway, there's this really aggressive cat and you know, uh, so she's done that a couple times but over the past year or so she's she's warmed up to me. That's good. We're great pals now. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll snuggle on our, on our own and um, we hang out in the mornings. You yeah. Know, and, and have a great time and when she starts to get a little like hostile, I'm pretty good at like kind of meeting her halfway and like giving her space. Yeah. But also being like, there's treats. You want treats? Um, so we go to this cat behaviorist. Uh, Jenny scheduled it. And it was pretty cool. I mean, they just like, uh, we put her in, a, in this little crate. So the cat was, Stinky was there. Stinky, we brought Stinky. Okay. Um, there was like it was this lady who like brought us up into a room where then the doctor came in and then this other woman was just sitting there the whole time like not really saying anything and i was like oh that's cool they kind of have like a you know a, there's, it's like there's the doctor and there's the nurse but the nurse stays <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and then like uh halfway through she's like oh it's her first day by the way so she's just like sitting in okay um uh but the first uh, woman is kind of going through all the different things we um, that it could potentially be. The main thing being like miss, like redirected aggression. Mm. It's like she'll see a cat outside that she doesn't like, um, and uh, it'll like trigger her. But she has nowhere to go with that anger. Ah, so she like lashes out. Um, and it actually is pretty common when there's like multiple cats that grow up together they'll like both be sitting like looking out they'll see something like one of them will get really aggravated and then the other cat's unaware of it and just the slightest touch from the other cat like sends them into like a fucking attack frenzy oh man yeah and then the the relationship between those two cats is like is like irrevocably damaged oh like damn it never it can never go back no is it no matter what age it is or is it usually when i think younger? it's just like growing up yeah growing up kittens yeah. um so there's some element of that to it but like you know i feel like me and stinky's relationship is better than it's ever been so that's good yeah i'm imagining uh like you're at the um you're at the cat uh behavioral behaviorologist behaviorist yeah. and like the cat's like sitting there and the therapist is like has like pictures and it's like picture of like what do you see like like jenny and it's like the cat like you know gives it a nudge and it's like a picture of you and it gives it a nudge and it shows it another cat and it's like, <laughs> and like freaks out and it's just like okay or is this like giving a cat like a rorschach test yeah, exactly. is that really funny thinking. like what do you see in this yeah. she's like fish bones fish bone uh whisker yeah. and bone man i didn't know what to expect and but yeah um I was thinking like she would come in and I was like, what if Stinky just like lies to her and tells her that she's, she doesn't have a problem. She's just been <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. And like, she's the sweetest cat ever. It's a great cat. Honestly, I don't, <laughs> I don't know why y'all are here. You kind of wasted your money. Yeah. It, that's, that's like the, that's like some, uh, Omen, like Damien, like devil child shit. That's almost what happened. Like, Oh like, shit. Like we put her in the crate, um, at Jenny's house and she didn't, she didn't make a single noise. Hmm. Like the whole time, even when we got there, put her in the room. She didn't say anything. It took her like so long to, 
to to pipe up. But yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. The first the first woman was great, and then she brought in another woman who like teaches you techniques. Like like um, she has this clicker, and like you mm. click it when you want to give her a treat, mm. and so she associates that noise with getting a treat. And like another, like you can be like yes, and like and like make and kind of like train her to do things yeah. based on that. So like when uh, something triggers her, you could potentially train her to go to her crate or like the top of her cat tree. Um, but I was expecting, I was like, I bet I could tell just by looking at this woman that she's a cat person. Oh yeah, and the first woman, it that it wasn't true. I was like, oh. eh, I could go either way. It's like, you know, typical. The second lady, cat person for sure. Yeah. She was like way too friendly uh-huh. to the cat. Like, and, and Stinky was growling. She finally started growling. And she was like, oh, I think she doesn't like the noise. It's like, uh, she, uh, she doesn't like you getting up in her grill. Like, yeah. She's like this close. She's like, I don't know what's going yeah, on here. Yeah. Right? She assumes like that the, every cat's going to love her. Um, and it was funny because like, she was the first thing she said was like, "Oh, I was looking through the files and like the vet that you go to, the vet that you take Stinky to, like I love her. Like I take, you know, I take my animals there. Um, you know, I I just like had a dental thing over there. Um, she took care of my snake. Oh, she's got a snake too. And as soon as she said that she had a snake, I was like, this is not going to be a good interaction with her and the cat because that's a person who like you know loves animals too much. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it's just, just like very forward with animals, you know, and can't like, almost like can't read the room because they're just so like in love with animals. Which is weird because you'd think that they would have a greater understanding for them. Yeah. I guess it's different to be like a a researcher of animals and be like, to know like, don't get in a dog's face. Don't like do this to a dog. Don't do this to a cat. Don't. Do Instead, you're just like obsessed with animals. So you're like, yeah. I can't resist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could be projecting onto her and just like, you know, just like. I didn't like her or something, so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I'm like yeah. making up something about how stinky. She said like she has a snake, and you're like fucking you're snake, like, fucking snake. What the? What? What's next? Fucking cock in my chicken salad. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off. No sir, no sir. Three bags full, sir. Oh, oh, fuck. What the fuck was that? He ate my fucking chicken. He ate my fucking chicken. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. So, so, I think that's great. I saw my, I saw their plan. My dad's plan was better. I'm suing Greenpeace. Uh, apologize. Uh, perhaps, perhaps it would be it would be behoove you to think of another option. Oh man, is this Jordan Peterson? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it's gonna hurt like it's hell. Hurt like hell. But it's necessary. <laughs> it's <laughs> goddamn necessary on the path to to greatness. Pops out of you want to become Poo-poo. chief executive <laughs> of a company? If you can't do it, fuck off. It's gonna hurt like hell. You need to hang out with more men. Men and men and men and you need life. to hang out. You need strong men. Excuse me. Like, like Joe Rogan. Like Joe. Oh, he's viciously <laughs> strong. <laughs> oh, oh, Joe. Look that, at his nipple. Joe. You seen that video? That's a powerful man. Crispy nipple. His, just you could see it emanating from his head. He's soaked in ivermectin. <laughs> he's so pissed in ivermectin. That man and and he's a carnivore. He ate my fucking chicken. If you don't understand that, then fuck off. What's a what's a are there animals that is carnivore is meat eater and mm-hmm. you also eat greens, right? Or you also that's eat, omnivore. I think carnivore you eat pretty much only meat. That's or crazy. Meat. Yeah. So so there's just lions out there just straight up eat meat only. Yeah. They're just living off meat. Yeah. Man, that's so wild to me. It is weird. I could not do that. I mean, like, yeah, what the fuck I, even I is? mean, physi- physiologically, I would die probably if I tried to do that. There's so much salt. No, sir. No, sir. Three bags yeah. full, sir. It's just like f- the flesh. Like, I'm getting, I'm getting my energy from another one's flesh. It just makes it seem like almost like a video game. <laughs> oh, you just reminded me of something. Can yeah. I read this Craigslist ad I found yesterday? Yeah. Something I'm about like, flesh. always occasionally... Um, I'm like always occasionally like uh, looking on Craigslist. I don't know why I do this. Sometimes I get in these like job searching tangents mm-hmm. where I'm like, or like just I'm, I'm, I'll look for like, you know, I need a song for blah, blah, blah. Just like song shit sometimes. Yeah. And um, just found the best ad on there. Uh, 
portfolio work skin models, $950, three hours of work. Hello, I am in need of six women, all capitals, who are okay with doing a styled shoot in your skin. Wait. <laughs> Details below. Is this a screenshot or do you have the link? It's a, it's a screenshot, but oh I can God. send you the link. Yeah, I, I found it on. It's probably start over, there. start over. So, what's the title? Portfolio work skin models nine hundred fifty dollars three hours of work Nashville. And what was this under like gigs or something? Yeah, it's under gigs. Okay, creative gigs. I yeah. think. <laughs> okay. Hello, I am in need of six women who are okay with doing a styled shoot in your skin. Details below. Okay, this, this is where it gets great. Styled shoot in your skin. I'm not a professional. <laughs> this is a hobby I've picked up during COVID. I am real. You compensa- The compensation is cash. You can bring a friend, just no drama. All sizes are welcome. Just bring yourself and a positive attitude. You will be topless. <laughs> I can shoot any day after 4 p.m. <laughs> if you can't do it, I'll call. The, when I was reading this back, I honestly thought he said, I will be topless. <laughs> <laughs> I will be topless. You will be clothed and with a friend. Oh. I will not is be. Is this a sample of his work here? I don't, I don't know. Portfolio I don't, it looks work. like just some skin models. Clip art. 950, three hours of work. I just like how he's like styled, styled in your skin. I just think the emphasis on skin makes it sound like Buffalo Bill wrote that shit. Doing a styled shoot in your skin. Yeah, it's like, what? Where, what are where, you styling? I'm exposing your flesh. It's just like... We're ready to fuck away. And he wrote, the, he wrote the paragraph like a poem. I want to make sure I can see bone. Yeah, yeah, he like made it like stanzas. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a professional. This is a hobby I have picked up during COVID. I am real. <laughs> the compensation is cash. You can bring a friend, just no drama. All sizes are welcome. Just bring yourself in a positive attitude. This, what about the friend? This dude has clearly like a strange view of women when he said, you can bring a friend, just no drama. <laughs> like, what's gonna ha- like, what do you mean? You can bring a friend, just fucking don't make, make sure they're not a fucking drag. Make sure you're not getting in a fight with her while yeah. you're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can bring a friend, just I don't want you guys fighting over me once things start to <laughs> yeah, get yeah. really good. Once I take my top <laughs> off and I'm topless and you see I... my skin. <laughs> You can bring a friend, but I gotta warn you, you'll both be horny. The the chances for a drama to happen are high. I've been watching Succession nonstop. <laughs> when confronted with the lens, the inhibitions can often leave the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something about the sand and the glass mixture <laughs> of the of the lens just gets people in a strange state of mind. I just want to photograph you. So, so wrong. If he was British, I'd feel more comfortable, honestly. Yeah, just fucking so turtleneck. Gotta be a turtleneck wearing a suit jacket over a turtleneck. Yeah. It's like, it's like kind of orange tan. Yeah. Just go ahead and dra- go ahead and drape it around. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God. Mind if I come closer? Mind if I shave your head? You mind if I... Sh- mind if- <laughs> Can I shave your head? You mind if I shave your head, love? Just goes up, goes up just fucking... You have a woman's body now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, now you're a woman. <laughs> now you're a woman. You're a woman. You're a woman to notice. Yes. The Dothraki have no word for woman. <laughs> oh, man. What? I forgot about that show, man. <laughs> what, a, what a time. Yeah, I just thought that uh, instead of Blake's uh, space facts, we'll just we'll just get into Blake's, Blake's, Blake's strange, Craigslist ads. Strange Craigslist finds. <laughs> I've got no supplemental things to bring to this, unfortunately. That's okay. Yeah. I um, I I wasn't even planning on it, and I just remembered, and I was like, <laughs> I just love the emphasis on skin so much. Man, there's a lull. Is there a lull? No, there's not a lull, but I do wonder if it's an increment of seven minutes. Probably. It's probably been about seven minutes again. Yeah. Um, I don't Let me show the audience this tuning I found on this guitar. Yeah, this yeah. Game. It's a cool <laughs> tuning. It's a very cool tuning. Let's noodle. Well, let's actually, noodle. yeah, yeah. Give it a strum. Give it, give it a strum. See, let's see I'll improvise is. the song a little bit. All right, let's let's see if we can we can do a little something here. Yeah. What was that thing I was playing before? It was kind of nice. It's like. Mm-hmm. All right, let's hit it. (laughs) 
this time we'll actually yeah get get your stance Progress. That's all I got this, 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 uh, oh, this tuna, <laughs> this craziest tuna. It's very, like, cool or some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can fucking do some crazy rhythms. River, they got to flow like water mm. through wine, water through <laughs> wine, water fine, fine, fine. Over the rock we go on city, city, bake, bake. What you do? You gotta shake that booty till you get the go. You gotta get, get going like a go, go, go. Drink the pompa moose, the croy. You go, go. You go, go. You go, go. You go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. It's like the worst sounding thing. Yeah. <laughs> the like the slapping. Well, just the this one's not as bad. Like barely. <laughs> but this one is like I don't know. <laughs> about. Yeah. Why do you guys still listen to this? You know. Yeah. Who knows? But you do. Um. So thanks. We'll see you soon. Bye, y'all. I got nothing to say, yeah, I'm just loving the way you're looking over here, come over here and tell me your name, I can tell by the sound, yeah, when you open your mouth, I hear my new favorite melody, hey, we should both run away.